join us now on the most important issues for investors and voters at large. Uh, Eric Kanner, former congressman from Virginia, who served as House Majority Leader. He's now a uh, vice chairman and managing director at Molis uh, and Company. Have you got tips for uh, for uh, Becky? Uh, tips for me, Becky, and me to navigate the, mm -hmm. the next um, how many months it is? How how are we? How do you suggest? we get through this being on cable TV? 35 weeks. You know, it's, it's really like today, you know, it's almost like a non-story because you sort of know how it's going to end today. Yeah, but when the battle really begins in earnest between these two candidates and their people on, on the respective sides, I don't know. I'm going to need... Some so, type of medication, I think. Well, no, but I think, you know, what, what the job of an incumbent, because when you're an incumbent like President Biden, you don't want this to be a referendum because usually a referendum means you're going to lose. So his job, and he'll have an opportunity, I think, on Thursday at the State of the Union to actually present his case to the American public in a way probably he won't have until the election. So it, it is about a contrast for him versus the public like voting on whether they like this Biden economy. And clearly, he's not done a great job. I just heard Brian Deese on the show, you know, and again, that's a perfect example of their economic agenda in the Biden administration. Unfortunately, they've sort of littered it with acolytes of Elizabeth Warren's, and it's essentially blame business. It's business making too much money. In fact, this week, I think they said it's, um, we're talking about how corporates rip off the public. Blame business, tell business, I'm going to tell you how much you can make. I mean, that's just not who we are in America. That's not our secret but the sauce. crux of the, of the matter is we're going to have uh, Pete Buttigieg on it. And I know exactly what we're going to hear from him. And I don't even know if I have the... Uh, I, 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 I may two. not even be able to... I, I might just, just, just let him go. But at this point, I know what... A lot of it is don't... Well, what do you think he's going to say? Don't believe your lying eyes. Here's what's really happening. Border secure. There's no big city crime. No inflation. No. Uh, President Biden is as sharp as he's ever been, and people are... The economy is great, and people just don't appreciate it because the media is making it seem like it's not great. But the polls have been absolutely horrific in the last week. Not from typical... Uh, 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 you know, not from right wing heritage or National Review or Fox News. It's been from the New York Times and CBS, right. these polls. And you've seen them. Right. I mean, it, it, the, the, you can cut it with a knife how unhappy people are with. They want Donald Trump's policies. Where did right. that come from? But how the, did that come from? Right. And the reality is, this is still a cost of living election. You know, you just had the CEO of Target on earlier, Brian Cornell, who said that the actual cost of food and services is up 20 to 30 percent. That's a lot for people. You've been watching all morning. Yeah, I have. <laughs> and that's a lot for people. And, you know, it, it's reality. It's not just the polls. The polls are reflecting where voters are in earnest. So, again, I just think that this is a real point at which Biden is going to have to step up and either contrast himself with okay. Trump. How much do you think, though, is a problem with the policies, a problem with how Americans feel? How much do you think that this is a question on the age referendum? We have two very old candidates who are going to be running for this. And... Uh, Biden has not been out in front of the cameras very much. Warren's 95. I just, I don't think 77. He's 93. 93. I don't think 77 is old. I, and I don't think 81 is old. I think Joe Biden's old. No, yeah, I don't. do age at different, at different he, is, he is He has declined, uh, I think, pretty significantly over the last eight to ten years, for sure. And I, he does not present well. And I, this is the Democrats' problem. I mean, they don't Eric, have a candidate. That's, that's a not the only leader. New York Times. Only, I don't even know how you could get a poll like this. Only 18 percent of voters told The New York Times that Biden's policies have benefited them personally. Forty percent said Trump's had benefited them. So what happened? It's almost like a, uh, a nostalgia. Uh, Rich Lowry of the National Review said that Trump nostalgia 
is right. setting in. How is that set? What January six is suddenly in the rearview mirror, and what are they remembering? Wage well, listen, gains or listen? But if you if you remember before COVID, you know we had the impact of the tax cuts. You know that'll be a discussion. If you're talking about the next 35 weeks, that'll be a discussion that we'll have because the tax cuts will expire and they'll be up for renewal. That's a 3.2 trillion dollar issue. Huge fiscal stress in the country, given the interest uh, cost to the debt. So it, it'll be, um, you know, if you're thinking about how we deal with navigating, I think what, what business has done is they've been able to sort of block out a lot of the noise. And I think if you look to where things are heading, number one, the border crisis is dominant. That's become the number one issue, which yes. is pretty extraordinary. We're sitting here in New York City. How far away are we from a border? But yet... It's now an issue here. But I can tell you what I'm going to hear if I brought up the border. The president put together a bipartisan border plan, and the Republicans voted it down because Donald Trump told them to vote it down. But we know full well what happened three years ago. We know full well, and the, I think the people know full well, and they're not buying it, but I guarantee we're going to hear it in you, 10 you, minutes. They're going to say, right, you know, listen to me, do as I say, not as I do. That's that's their whole Don't ruse. believe your lying eyes. Don't believe your lying eyes. I like that. But on, on the border, the real question is, Biden has not done, he, you know, Title 42 went away because of COVID, right? They couldn't go and, and, and put that back into place. But the bottom line, he's not done his job in leaning on Mexico to try and make sure that, number one, that they can secure their southern border, and number two, um, that, you know, th that they can, he got rid of Remain in Mexico. He's got to talk to that government there to cooperate the way that Trump did. And people see through it. They know he's not leading. That's, that's the real thing, Joe. And I, I know the hyperbole is, it's just deafening sometimes. Uh, you know, but but we'll get through it. We've got a great country. You know, the deal market is slowly coming back. Right. You know, the interest rates, there's a little bit more clarity around that. People are feeling a little bit more comfortable uh, with the economic environment you think, right I now. still think that when, when push comes to shove, though, in a general election, it's going to be tough for Trump because... I think abortion is still around and, right. and, and everything. Look, and, and, and the polls can say one thing. But when it's, it's all said and done, recently in spite of everything, Biden could still end up getting a second term. Get 35 weeks. And a lot listen, can happen. Listen, and, and it's close. And we've talked before. There's a polarization set in this country almost at parity. And so it's going to come down, I think, four or five states, period. And probably given how parties perform, it'll be in the big suburban counties in those four or five states. And you're right. If you're thinking who will decide who's that small portion, it is suburban professionals and especially women. Abortion is an issue. There's no the question. Only thing is